Missouri CDL practice test. Question 1. What happens when you let the air out of hot tires? It will cool them down. You will be able to continue your journey sooner. This is a good idea so the extra pressure is relieved. This is a bad idea because when the tires cool off, the pressure will be too low. It has no effect at all. Answer This is a bad idea because when the tires cool off, the pressure will be too low. Question 2. What is the main difference between aggressive driving and road rage? Intent to do harm or physical assault. Level of anger. Outcome of situation. All of the above. Answer. Intent to do harm or physical assault. Question 3. Which of the following is, are reasons to back toward the driver's side? Your truck will probably pull to the right. You can see better, watching the vehicle rear out the side window. There are always more obstacles on the right. All of the above. Answer. You can see better. Watching the vehicle rear out the side window. Question 4. What action should you do before driving while drowsy? Drink a cup of coffee. Drink energy drinks. Pull off the road and get some sleep. Open your vehicle winds for some fresh air. Answer. Pull off the road and get some sleep. Question 5. Which of these is a serious traffic violation that will disqualify you from a commercial vehicle? Tailgating. Excessive speeding, 15 miles per hour or more faster than posted limit. Listening to your music too loudly. All of the above. Answer. Excessive speeding, 15 miles per hour or more faster than posted limit. Question 6. How can you determine if your vehicle is equipped with ABS? Check if your vehicle was manufactured after March 1, 1998, they are required to have the panel light. Check for yellow ABS malfunction lamps on the instrument panel. Look for wheel speed sensor wires that are coming from the rear of your brakes. All of the above. Answer. All of the above. Question 7. If you are traveling at 55 miles per hour in a 30-foot vehicle, you should leave how many seconds of following distance? 4 seconds 6 seconds 3 seconds 7 seconds Answer 4 seconds Question 8. What is the punishment for driving a CMV without the CDL? Up to $2,000 fine and mandatory jail time. Up to $5,000 fine and possible jail time. Minimum $5,000 fine and possible jail time. Up to $5,000 fine or possible jail time. Answer Up to $5,000 fine or possible jail time. Question 9. You should place the starter switch key into your pocket while you are performing the pre-trip inspection because 
it could damage the starting mechanism. Someone could steal the truck. Someone could start and move the truck. All of the above. Answer. Someone could start and move the truck. Question 10. What is the first step of proper braking technique when going down a steep downgrade? Put the engine in the proper low gear. Accelerate. Release the clutch. Release the brakes. Answer. Put the engine in the proper low gear. Question 11. How can you start moving without rolling backward? Put on the parking brake whenever necessary. Apply the hand valve. Engage the clutch before removing your foot from the brake. All of the above. Answer. All of the above. Question 12. Do empty trucks have the best braking? No. Yes, but only on wet surfaces. Yes, but only if the truck is newer than 1998. Yes. Answer. No. Question 13. What's the definition of a hazard? Something you can safely ignore. Something you must stop for. Something you can easily avoid. A road user or road condition that could be a possible danger. Answer A road user or road condition that could be a possible danger. Question 14. Retarders keep you from skidding on the road because They give you more control over your brakes. They help reduce your reaction distance. They help you control your speed. They don't. You skid more easily with retarders. Answer They don't. You skid more easily with retarders. Question 15. You should inspect wheel bearing seals for Twisted axles Tears Broken leaf springs Leaking Answer Leaking Question 16. What might happen if you swing wide to the left before you turn right? Someone might try to pass you, on your left. You might damage your leaf springs. Someone might try to pass you, on your right. All of the above. Answer. Someone might try to pass you, on your right. Question 17. Which of the following determines the safe speed for going down a steep downgrade? The total weight of the vehicle and cargo. The steepness of the grade. The road conditions. All of the above. Answer. All of the above. Question 18. How many tie downs are required for a 20 foot load? Three tie downs. Two tie downs. One tie down. Four tie downs. Answer Two tie downs. Question 19. How long will you lose your CDL privileges, 
in the state of Missouri. If you are convicted of a second DUI offense while driving your CMV, minimum two years, minimum three years, minimum one year, life. Answer Life. Question 20. Which of the following can you not use a BC fire extinguisher on? Wood Grease fire Electrical fire Gasoline fire Answer Wood Question 21. What is the best way to check the sides and rear of your vehicle? Stop every 50 miles and check. Simply rely on turning and looking at your blind spots. Check your reflection in other vehicles. Adjust your mirrors to see clearly before starting, and check regularly. Answer Adjust your mirrors to see clearly before starting, and check regularly. Question 22. How many hours of sleep does the average person need per night, or risk accumulating sleep debt? 6 to 7 hours. 8 to 9 hours. 6 to 8 hours. 7 to 8 hours. Answer 7 to 8 hours Question 23. The minimum safe tread depth for other tires besides front tires is 8 30 seconds inch 1 inch 2 30 seconds inch 4 30 seconds inch Answer 2 30 seconds inch Question 24 How many seconds does it take for a normal tractor trailer to clear a double track? More than 30 seconds 14 seconds More than 15 seconds 10 seconds Answer more than 15 seconds. Question 25. Is it true that as long as the engine is not overheated, it is completely safe to remove the radiator cap? Yes, as long as the radiator isn't damaged. Yes, as long as there is no overflow. No. Yes. Answer No Question 26. Which of these combinations defines total stopping distance? Reaction distance plus braking distance plus signal distance Perception distance plus reaction distance Perception distance plus reaction distance plus braking distance Reaction distance plus braking distance. Answer Perception distance plus reaction distance plus braking distance. Question 27 The most important hand signal you should agree on with a helper is Stop. Go. Faster. Turn up the music. Answer Stop. Question 28. If you double your speed, how much more distance will it take to stop? Five times as much. Twice as much. Three times as much. Four times as much. Answer 
four times as much. Question 29. What is the best way to figure out how many seconds of following distance you have? Wait until a vehicle passes a shadow or landmark, and count the seconds until you pass it. Use the stopwatch on your phone to try to determine how long before you reach a mile marker after the car in front of you appear to reach it. Get one fourth closer to the car in front of you, then back off again. Multiply how long this took you by four for following distance. Text a friend and tell them to text you back in 10 seconds and see how long that seemed to take compared to far you traveled. Answer Wait until a vehicle passes a shadow or landmark, and count the seconds until you pass it. Question 30 It has just reached freezing. Which of the following areas is slippery? A shaded area. A bridge. When looking road. All of the above. Answer. All of the above. Question 31. Which of the following is not a key steering component? Tie rod. Steering shaft. Gearbox. Leaf spring. Answer. Leaf spring. Question 32. Which of the following should you not do when you are being tailgated? Avoid quick changes. Increase your following distance. Speed up. Avoid tricks, such as flashing your brake lights. Answer. Speed up. Question 33. If brakes get wet, it can cause them to Rust immediately Apply unevenly Fall off the vehicle All of the above Answer Apply unevenly Question 34. You don't want to be a distracted driver, so you Smoke, eat, and drink during straight portions of the road. Only read maps or your phone when there are no cars around you. Have all your emotionally hard conversations in the first hour of driving. If possible, turn off your cell phone until you reach your destination. Answer If possible, turn off your cell phone until you reach your destination. Question 35. What is the most important and obvious reason to perform a vehicle inspection, according to the state of Missouri? Employer liability. Make sure your paint is not chipped. Safety. See if your vehicle needs a wash. Answer. Safety. Question 36. An anti-lock braking system will Let you drive faster. Keep your brakes from locking up when you brake hard. Increase your stopping distance. Increase a vehicle's ultimate stopping power. Answer Keep your brakes from locking up when you brake hard. Question 37. Which of the following should you check during your trip? Mirrors Cargo covers Pressure gauges All of the above Answer. All of the above.
Question 38. If testing your hydraulic brakes for leaks, you should Apply firm pressure for 5 seconds, then pump the brakes 3 times. Pump the brakes 3 times, then apply pressure for 5 seconds. Pump the brakes 5 times, then apply pressure for 3 seconds. Pump the brakes 3 times, then apply pressure for 10 seconds. Answer Pump the brakes 3 times, then apply pressure for 5 seconds. Question 39. How many red reflective triangles must you carry with you for emergencies? 2. Depends if your truck is less than 30 feet. 3. 5. Answer. 3. Question 40. Which of these constitutes communicating safely? Using headlights at night or during bad road conditions. Tapping your horn when legal, whenever you need to pass. Flashing your lights at night, whenever you need to pass. All of the above. Answer. All of the above. Question 41. What will help a drunk sober up? A glass of water. Time. Coffee. Fresh air. Answer. Time. Question 42. Where should you place your warning devices? If you must stop on a one-way or a divided highway. 50 feet, 100 feet, and 150 feet toward approaching traffic. 10 feet, 100 feet, and 200 feet toward approaching traffic. 20 feet, 50 feet, and 100 feet toward approaching traffic. 100 feet, 200 feet, and 300 feet toward approaching traffic. Answer 10 feet, 100 feet, and 200 feet toward approaching traffic. Question 43. Which of the following is, are parts of the suspension system? Pitman arm Lock rings Bearing plates. All of the above. Answer. Bearing plates. Question 44. Which of the following is most likely to get stuck on raised railroad crossings? An empty moving van. A single axle tractor making a return journey empty. A low-slung car carrier. A single axle tractor pulling a regular trailer. Answer. A low-slung car carrier. Question 45. If you have an automatic transmission, when should you downshift? When you're going down steep grades. When you feel you're driving too fast. When you start to get drowsy. When you have trouble going fast enough. Answer. When you're going down steep grades. Question 46. What is a common cause of tire fires? Underinflated tires. Overinflated tires. Cold tires. All of the above. Answer. Underinflated tires.
Question 47. Which two special conditions indicate that you should downshift? Starting up a hill and finishing a curve. Starting down a hill and finishing a curve. Starting up a hill and entering a curve. Starting down a hill and entering a curve. Answer. Starting down a hill and entering a curve. Question 48. Why is it important to use a helper when backing? Because you are providing a job for someone else. Because people feel more comfortable when you do. Because you have blind spots. All of the above. Answer. Because you have blind spots. Question 49. Under which of the following situations will you not lose your hazardous materials endorsement in the state of Missouri? You are wanted for certain felonies. You are not a lawful, permanent resident of the United States. You are convicted of certain felonies in military court. You have unpaid parking tickets. Answer. You have unpaid parking tickets. Question 50. Which of the following should you do when confronted by an aggressive driver? Ignore rude gestures and refuse to react negatively. If you can safely do it, call the police from a cell phone. Avoid eye contact. All of the above. Answer. All of the above. Thank you for watching the video and wish you will get your driver license soon.